In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to create a map chart in Excel. So you need to input some sort of geographical data. So let's use the states in the United States. So we're going to have state in column A. And then in column B, let's put the population for those states. And for the population, I'm going to make up some numbers. So just keep that in mind. It may not represent uh, the exact population of these states. So let's say we have New York, California, Florida, Georgia, and then Arizona, let's say Idaho, North Carolina, and let's pick another one, Kansas. So let's say the population in New York is 26 million. And let's say in California, 52 million. And Florida, we're going to say it's uh, 24 million. Georgia, let's say it's 19 million. Arizona, let's say that's 15 million. Idaho, we're going to say it's 9 million. North Carolina, let's say that's 17 million. And Kansas, let's go with 8 million. Now, to make the map chart, simply highlight the information that you have, and then go to Insert, select Maps, and then click this button. And then there you have it. You have a, a map chart of the United States. And as you can see, notice that California has a very dark blue color because based on the numbers that we put in, it has the highest population. And the states with a light blue color, their population is low. Notice that if I take my mouse and point it over Kansas, it tells me the value, population 8 million. And if I go to Idaho, it's 9 million. Arizona, 15. Florida, 24. So you can basically see what the population is uh, based on what we put in. Now, sometimes you may want to adjust the chart style. So if we click this button at the bottom right, you can select a different chart style. So here we have the legend at the top, or we can give it a dark background color like this one, or we could uh, make it black like that. Now let's go back to our original color. And this time, let's adjust the chart title. So let's call it population by state. And if you click the, this button at the right, you have the chart elements. So if you want to take away the legend, you could. But I'm going to keep it. You can add data labels. And so if we click on more options, this will come up. But I'm not going to use that. So let's take away data labels excuse me, data labels. I said that wrong. Now, let's click this button at the bottom. You can also change the color of your map chart. And so you can have a, a greenish color, an orange color, a bluish color. And so you have different options here. Now, if you don't find the color that you're looking for, What you could do is you can go to page layout at the top and select colors and you'll get more options that you can choose from. So if you just like hover over it, it will give you a preview of what it's going to look like. And so that gives you a more options in terms of any colors that you want to select. So as you can see, you have a, a lot to choose from. So let's go back to this. And so that's one way in which you can create a map chart. Now, the map chart doesn't have to be by the states in the US. You can also do it by country or even by county. And so let's do an example where, let's delete this, where we're going to base the map on the different countries in the world. So let's type in country. 
and then we're going to use population again. So let's say uh, United States. Let's expand the width of that column. And let's say we have uh, China, Brazil, let's say India, and uh, Costa Rica, Canada, Italy, France, Germany, let's say Ethiopia, and Kenya, just to name a few. So let's say the population in the United States is about 300 million. With China, let's, okay, I need to expand the width of that column. Let's go with 1 billion for China. And Brazil, let's say it's 250 million. India, let's go with 1.2 billion. Costa Rica, let's say uh, 35 million. Canada, let's say 65 million. Italy, let's say 42 million. France, let's say 50. Germany, we'll go with uh, 45. Ethiopia, we'll say 39. And Kenya, let's say 43. So these are just some random numbers that I've picked. So let's highlight the two columns. And then let's go to Inserts, Maps. And there you have it. So now we have a map chart. And this time, instead of just looking at one country, we could see many countries in the world. So here we have China with one of the highest populations on the planet, 1 billion. And as you could see, we have a dark blue color. And the same is true for India. Here we have uh, Brazil, the US, Canada, and here you have Ethiopia, underneath Kenya, and uh, Italy, and other countries as well. And so you could create a map chart based on the country as opposed to the states or provinces within a country. Now let's see if we can create a map chart with the county within a state as opposed to a country or the state itself. So here let's put the county information and let's put the population. So I'm going to select some counties in the state of California. So let's say Alameda County and let's then choose Contra Costa and then I'm not sure how I got all the way over there. Fresno. After that, Los Angeles, Monterey County, Orange County, Nevada County, Riverside County, Sacramento County, and one more San Bernardino County. So now let's put the population for each of these counties. If you want to fast forward the video, feel free. This will take me about a minute. But I'll get through it pretty quick. And the last one is going to be 2.2 million. Okay, so now let's go ahead and create the map chart. So here we have it. And it doesn't look like we have much in this map. But we do see the state of California. I'm going to insert another column. So this will be the state. I'm going to put CA for all of these. Let's see if that changes anything.
Okay, so that helped a little. So now we could see more counties in this map. So we have Monterey County, Los Angeles County, and uh, Sacramento County, and some other ones too. Contra Costa, Alameda, and I don't see all of the counties listed here, but just some of them. But that's how you can make a map chart with the counties within a state. I just want to give you a basic introduction into doing it. And of course, you can adjust it accordingly. But I'm going to stop here for today. And so that's all I got for this video. So now you know how to create a map chart in Excel. Thanks for watching.